Welcome to Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. Lots of interrupting from the vice presidential candidates and lots of creepy clowns have school districts on it. We'll discuss. I'm Rebecca Vargas, a senior writer from the New York Times, sits down with us to give women advice on how to succeed in today's working world. I'm Bobeth. Today is my favorite Suncoast for sale. It's the all million dollar dream home edition. And I'm Linda Carson. Images of old Florida bring back a lot of memories. Today, we preview an art exhibit that takes us back in time. All that more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show and welcome back to Rebecca Vargas. Thank you for having me. It's always great to be with you ladies. It's always nice to sit next to Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. We have a lot of fun on the way for today and of course that fun usually starts in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Our good friend Chef Eddie from Apollona Mediterranean Grill joins us today and I see all sorts of things laid out in front of you. Chef, what are we making today? Uh, hi Stephanie, We're, uh, we'll be making a roasted cauliflower salad that's definitely in season. It's very healthy and delicious. All right, it sounds good, and I know Chef Eddie always has that great feta, and you can see the roasted oh, yes. cauliflower there, oh. all the goods from the Mediterranean uh, cuisine here and ready. So good to be healthy in the middle of the week. You know, sometimes on Wednesdays, or usually on Wednesdays, when Chef Judy is with us, we all know that that's our big calorie day. Sure. So we get a little bit of a break today, and we're going to keep it healthy. healthy. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that'll be good, because we sometimes feel guilty <laughs> after those big <laughs> calorie like, yeah, days. Like, yeah, 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 no. Sometimes we do. Well, of course, all the talk and... And the all eyes are on Florida's East Coast. Uh, really worried about Hurricane Matthew. I was asking Bo Beth about her family in Fort Lauderdale and hoping that your mom has her has her plan in store. At least you're getting her to make one. Well, she's she's making a couple plans. She said she did go get water. So that's, that's, a, good. Step, Start. that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> so now to get her to do everything else, like, you know, put the shutters up and all that, maybe a, a bit harder. You know what she needs to do is get money out of the bank because the ATMs close. Now that's that's good story. advice. Yeah. And we're already that's hearing it. in Miami that there are gas shortages yeah. popping up because everybody's filling up their tanks. Yeah, so, seeing the video from yesterday with bumper to bumper in yeah. line oh, for hours. I yes. believe so it. Gas imagine. is going. Yep. So she, you may make sure your that, family and friends are taking this seriously yes. cause mm -hmm. because sometimes they need a product. A lot of times they don't think that, you know, it's going to come and then yeah. they aren't as prepared when things happen so, so it's yeah it's time to get prepared it is the good news is this is not our storm per se it will be on Florida's East Coast and affect much of the southeast United States but you can track this storm with us and follow this storm we will of course have coverage throughout all of the newscasts and you'll start to see cut-ins throughout the day on mysuncoast.com. Put the app on your phone. It's a great way to get that live radar and see what's happening with that storm because Florida will start to be affected during the day tomorrow. And we can breathe a sigh of relief. It's not going yes. to be oh. here. <laughs> yeah. It is time for our first hot topic. And did you miss any of last night's debate? Well, Twitter's going to sum it up for us. Here's some of our favorites. A woman writes, if I wanted to watch two white dudes bicker near a woman named Elaine, I would just watch Seinfeld. <laughs> I thought, Except that these guys can change our life. Seinfeld, not so much. I know, and it's not supposed to be funny either. It's but be more entertaining. It yeah. was a little bit funny. Here's another one we like. Pretty accurate sum summary of the hashtag VP debate. You can see the parentheses, men yelling indistinctly. <laughs> so reports are that the VP candidates interrupted each other more than one hundred times last night and it was definitely a looser format my favorite quote comes from usa today if you took three youtube channels and opened them in your browsers you know three separate ones on your computer and played them all at the same time that's what the debate sounded like oh my God. Oh. did anybody get anything out of it or was the format bothersome to you the format wasn't bothersome to me i think the candidates themselves were bothersome <laughs> to me. i you know i looked looked at one and i'm like oh he's so pleasant looking and i like him and then he spoke and i was like oh i feel slimy and he, you know i he, just listening to them speak made me upset. So like maybe 20 minutes in, I, I couldn't anymore. You were done. I felt anymore. as if they tried to, they were talking nonsense and talking down to me as if I didn't know the true facts and true mm -hmm. information. And it was a lot of false hoods that were being spoken. And, and I, I was sad that that's what they did with the debate. You know what it made me think of? That book, Everything I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. <laughs> Just go by the kindergarten rules. Let the other person yep. speak, mm -hmm. and then you speak. Be polite. Don't say bad things about other people. Right. All those little kindergarten rules have been lost in this election. And the moderators tried to say that to them. Well, the moderators say, said that. I would never want to be a moderator, because who 
first of all, how do you <laughs> handle the two of them? The pressure on this poor woman or whoever it is. <laughs> And then what kind of? And then she's getting. In, I'm reading articles now that she's getting mocked for the type of questions she asks. So it's like you can't win. You there's, can't win for there's losing. There's no win. No, nope, there is no win. And by the way, speaking of being a moderator, next time you two decide to go at it, feel a little bad yeah, for me, people. Yeah, we're on the edge. Just like thank you. <laughs> but we didn't talk over each other. We work really hard on that. Uh, I got a well. That, that can happen well. on the show. We try. Well, I mean, I can understand a little bit of talking over, but it, what happened is uh, as soon as the one person would make a point. The other person. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true. And oh, it gosh. wasn't even like you could get the point out. Yeah. No, it has not been a good atmosphere for understanding what is really out there. So I guess the regular candidates, the top dogs, they'll try again on Sunday night. Obviously, it'll be everywhere. You know what? Go to and I hate to say this, <laughs> but I feel like we just need to go do our own research and forget these stupid debates. I hate to say that, Could but I feel said. like because when they speak, they're not telling the truth. Yes. And it's like, do you think I'm dumb? That's what I kept on thinking. Mm. Do you really think I'm dumb? I'm really going to believe that, sir. Like, I know the facts. All right. You know? Good point. A creepy clown craze is popping up all over the country. School districts and police are not laughing. This is so bizarre to me. It started in late August. Children reported clowns reportedly trying to lure them into the woods. Now it has spread all over social media. Schools are reporting threats. Police are threatening arrests. In Pasco County, that's just north of Tampa, a 12-year-old has been arrested for a creepy clown threat against a school. Stephen King jumped on the social media bandwagon and said, hey, people, it is time to cool down the clown hysteria. This does not seem to be like the smartest time to be pulling pranks, in my opinion. What do you guys think about this, and where in the world did it surface from? It's been going on for a while, but I, you yeah. know, it's perfect timing because now Halloween is here. You can actually get the clown out. This is yeah. not a perfect but timing. It's so weird. Somebody Halloween. is going to get shot. Yeah. This is not funny it's to me at good. all. What you seem scarier, amused by this. I do not think this is funny. Well, I th I'm not amused, but I can see why you are. You've got kids in schools, and you don't want to deal with it. And you, this is, I mean, we're already worried about the shootings and all these other things that are going on, and now this. It's just bizarre to me. I don't know where it started, but I mean, it freaks it, me out, and it, it needs to stop. It <laughs> is bizarre, but, you know, when does it get to a point where someone in a clown costume has to get shot? You know, don't we think because that we've gone? That's how people are. Don't, don't, don't we feel? Somebody. How do we? Feel, don't we feel like we've gotten to a bit of extreme? It's just a person just being ridiculous, like maybe just trying to get attention. It, but it's like and, putting on a mask. But you're in not our world, it's dangerous nowadays. In this world, it is dangerous. On. Yep. I, like my son jokingly said, "Well, I want to get a clown mask. This is funny." And I, I that's said, what, but that's point. to the no, because it's not funny. Because no. someone's going to do something dumb. Someone who thinks they're funny is going to get hurt. And it's not funny mm -hmm. at all to go on social media and say the clowns are coming to school. You don't know what's going to happen next. And the bad schools guys are not can amused. Be a clown. They can dress as a clown and rob a bank or anything else because you can't identify that person. Maybe it's sad on some level that are, we can't well, laugh. That's, a, that's but the point. That's why I, I think we're yeah. all so afraid now. You, you can't do anything in society. You dress as a clown, someone's going to shoot you. You're but look get at those shot. clowns. They didn't look like the clowns in Sarasota. Would it be well, better if they dressed as something else? I mean, do we have a clown the, problem or do we just have a sense well, of humor some of them problem? I think, politicians. I think it's a sense of humor problem. I think that we've just gotten so to a point where we're are all so tensed. We everything is a danger. A person standing on the street is a danger. A bag or purse randomly left is now. Oh my God! Could there be a bomb? But there is. There, there is. is. But that, there is a bomb. But that, nine <laughs> out of ten. Nine out of ten or times it's not. A bomb. But the but tenth we have time. Come, but we have become so afraid of living that it's become like this. Well, the school it's districts aren't laughing. laughing. And when they, they say no clowns, seriously. they mean it. All right, well, Halloween horror often toes the line of political correctness. Now a popular attraction at a California theme park will be shut down after social media complaints. The virtual reality attraction focused on a possessed patient running around a psychiatric hospital. Okay, these themes have been going on for decades, but now mental health advocates Here's are my speaking point. out. <laughs> okay, I agree with you on this one. That's ridiculous. Here's my point. Every single thing is now to a point where you can no longer laugh at it. You no longer could relax. Everybody is so offended by anything. Yeah. You, it's, you can't you can't, you can't. Should it be anything. funny though? Should mental health be funny? I mean, people have disturbed minds. I don't think it should be funny. Fun I think it? it's always been has the connotation of kind of scary. You know, like the the deserted mental hospital or mm -hmm. that abandoned mental hospital. And the, it's the that's whole concept that. of Halloween. You try to scare yourself. Yeah. So, so I'm not saying that it's right. And but here's the thing: we make fun of so many other different things. So uh, what are we going to do? Be PC all around everything? Yeah. Well, that'll cancel and, and, Halloween. And then and that's <laughs> the point. It's like we have to relax. You know, we take ourselves too seriously. I agree I have with to that. agree with that. I totally yeah. agree with that. Yes. 
Well, and it goes back to, you know, remember the 1950s, there were the accusations and the way people were treated in mental hospitals, and mm -hmm. that's what some of these yes, poor situations come, yes. back from that. And mm -hmm. I've seen Replicate some of those deserted that. institutions. And some, of them, yes. some of them may have been fact. Some of these are based oh, on true Bad things story. happen. But the oh, thing yes. is, mm -hmm. this is just Halloween. It's part yeah. of the fun. And, yes. you know, we're, we're just taking things. I, I, I think a lot seriously. Yes. Than well, it may be say. hard to have fun with these kind of things around, but if you're trying to have fun watching movies, that's getting harder with Netflix to because there's not as much out there. Netflix's U.S. catalog has shrunk dramatically in the past few years. As much as 50 percent, they used to have about 11,000 titles, it's down to about 5,300 titles. So when asked, Netflix says they're focusing on original content. In 2016, there is so much new original programming it would take you 25 days straight to binge watch it all does it uh, some of it is not good at all because you've <laughs> checked it out for us i know you have i've looked at a lot yes i have and i have some that i really really love but then there's some that oh my goodness i can't stand that have you run into wanting to see a movie and usually it's an older title and looking mm -hmm. for it and not being able to I've find it i've gone through every one of the netflix on friday and saturday night and couldn't find one i, I movie feel the same way watch. i have netflix too and i but i feel like this has been happening for years and just every year they get rid of more and more popular mm -hmm. movies and it's frustrating because I was the type that loved Blockbuster. You go in, you can find mm -hmm. old movies, uh -huh. new, new movies. movies. And the fact that we really don't have that anymore is frustrating, especially when like, Hulu and Netflix happen to be the top ones uh -huh. where we stream. So it's right. frustrating. And like you said, the original stuff isn't always the best. Right. Right. See, but the problem with the whole thing is, is if you want those original stuff, the prices are going to go up because they're having to shrink their catalog because they can't afford to keep all that stuff on their catalog. Yeah, well, so they better be which sure one, it's good. Which first. one would you rather? Would you rather right, paying your, a little bit more going up, for your right. subscription, or would you rather them shrink their catalog? Because you can't have the both. I'd rather things. them not do so much original programming. Make sure they've got a good show. But they're trying to they compete. Put it on. Yeah. They're trying to compete. Now it's interesting to see how that's going to change. So we have laws that cover how to you have your houses and your cars and your property when someone dies. But what about your digital property? Who gets your selfies? I know it sounds silly, but companies like Google and Facebook say a federal law that was approved decades before digital storage began actually protects the companies from releasing any electronic photos or records unless the account owner grants permission, even if the owner is dead. So families now have to have digital property included in an estate plan, or they have to play a guessing game with passwords if they don't know them. If you can't get access, your loved one's photos could be inaccessible forever. Would you set up a plan to share your memories? No. Oh, my kids know my passwords. That won't be a yep. problem for them. I've always no. wondered, I don't know if it's a morbid thought, but I, I have wondered, you know, say someone tragically dies, like unexpectedly in an accident or something, and they don't have the passwords to my phone or anything like that. How would they get it? And would they, they want don't. it? Exactly. They I didn't realize it. they wouldn't they be able it. to access it because right. they don't know any of my and passwords. And I think you would want it. I mean, I know yeah. you practically no, your whole life is but, digital. But, wouldn't you want them to have your photos? I would. I, I would. I think with the photo co photos comes other things. Correct. So yeah, no. things you're trying to hide. I'm not necessarily trying to hide, but I don't. I could be dead, but I want my mom in my personal business. <laughs> you know. I think that happens when you die. People get your personal business. Oh my God, like, you know, <laughs> would you really care though after that? I guess technically I'm dead, so I wouldn't care. But I'm like, no. I just don't. I don't know if I would want my mom in my personal stuff. business. Yeah, they delete. But, but that's exactly right. It opens up a big box of yeah. concerns about not, everything. Yeah, electronic. She's like, oh, look who she was texting. I knew it. <laughs> and yeah. look what she says to him. <laughs> the husbands and the wives that would get that information. Yeah. 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 It's, ugly. It's a slip. Slope. Well, we deal with a lot of gators here on the Sun Coast, but maybe we need to take a tip from the land down under on what to do. Check out this woman and her dog. They were threatened by an oncoming crocodile. <gasps> what do you do? Takes off her shoe. It's actually just a flip flop and chucks it at him. But watch what happens. He's like, oh, yep, I'm oh. out of here. Guess oh, that solved that lady, problem. Lady, lady, you could have been eaten. Too bad it wasn't a croc she <laughs> There's threw. two of them in there. <laughs> There's more, more than two. She needs to go away. Like, don't, <laughs> yeah, why, why are you that close? You back up. You back. And one thing I've heard, if you're going to run from a crocodile, they always say zigzag. No, no, no. They've got eyes on the sides of their head. They see zigzag <laughs> they see everything? better than straight ahead. I'm oh. hoping never to run into this one. This situation is just the, the thing. It's like they're fair. If you run, they're going to run. 
If you stand, they'll back eat off. Eat you. Okay, Are you sure? They'll, they'll stand, stand they'll eat you. And I'll be right behind yeah, you. There you go. <laughs> well, she just proved that she said go away, and they yeah, went. Yeah, they went. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to check out our happy hour forecast. And when we come back, we're going to check out old Florida through art. Stay with us. Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with an update on this massive storm system called Matthew, and it is heading toward Florida. We're waiting for the 5 o'clock advisory, which possibly could shift more toward the west. Now, models are trending that way, and that has been the case over the past 24 hours, so we'll watch it closely. Obviously, a hurricane warning is up for much of the east coast of Florida. This could be the largest evacuation ever for our state uh, coming up as a result of Matthew. Right now, it is moving through the central Bahamas. As far as the watches and warnings go, well, we have a tropical storm warning in effect for or uh, Highlands County. That's it in our viewing area. Polk County is under a tropical storm warning, meaning the possibility of tropical storm force winds exist there, especially on Friday. You can see just a few showers around here right now. The storm center is not all that well organized at this point, but we are starting to see more convection to the north and to the east of what appears to be the center of that low pressure. So it has some very warm water to gain strength. Again, the next advisory at 5 o'clock. Top winds are at 120. Could go higher. We'll have more at 5. See you then. The Florida landscape has changed so much over the years with our population explosion, but there are many images that capture the old Florida look and feel. An exhibit that will bring back a lot of memories is opening at the Longboat Key Center for the Arts. And one of the artists, Joseph Patrick Arniger, is with us right now, and you're going to be exhibiting your work? Joseph? Uh, yes. Uh, it's three artists, uh, Tom Stevens, Tim Yeager, and myself. Uh, shows this starting this week and goes for a month and we're very excited about talking about Florida and talking about the history and our own personal histories and how we all came to the state and what parts of the state that we love and parts that are not here anymore and parts that we deal with every day. So when you say old Florida, what are people going to see? I think the old Florida to me means that like a little bit of that nostalgic feel like when I was introduced to the state. I, my grandparents lived here and at a very young age we would migrate down here, get in the station wagon and drive down and see the billboards and the, the roadside attractions and oh, the yes. different beach signs and, and you create a relationship with these, these landmarks as a kid like mm. five miles to the shell factory in Fort Myers, ten <laughs> miles to the border. So it, it as the, those age and we age, mm -hmm. you create these relationships and then fondly remember them and, and, and your memory degrades just like the signs do. So looking back through this kind of like uh, haze of your own memory oh. and then the way that the, the nature and the state changes so much. So really just these personal relationships and the state's relationship with each of the artists I think is going to be interesting. And the now, classic swimsuit. You incorporate this in your own life too, don't you? Oh yeah, I live it, I live it and breathe it. I drive a 67 station wagon just like I grew <laughs> up in and I paint every day and I'm constantly searching the state for the lost, the long lost spots like Wikiwachi and going to this Crystal Castle. I yeah. love that kind of stuff. Oh. I love the nostalgia and the beauty of our state. So oh, gorgeous. that's one of your works, yes. isn't it? Yes, it's based on an old, uh, Billboard that I used to see for an airline that doesn't exist anymore. The billboard doesn't exist anymore. But that bathing suit I wore to see to <laughs> last week. <laughs> I'd like to see that. That's coming the, back. Yeah, so the, the vintage stuff is really like it's come full circle in that look yeah. of the 50s and the, the, mm -hmm. the 60s has really come back into style and looking back on our own. The, the style that is now and how our relationships with it throughout mm -hmm. our lifetimes has just been so interesting to me. Oh, beautiful. So when you're drawing some of these or painting some of these pictures, are you using memory or are you going to find I, some of the images? I use some memory. I use some historic photographs from my own family. I use some from the internet is rife with vintage stuff mm -hmm. and I like to go and travel to some of these spots. Like I said, my wife and I, we pick one and we just go to it and spend the day looking at the Crystal Castle, or going to the Shell Factory in Fort Myers, or going to Wikiwachi or Tarpon Springs to the Sponge Docks. Oh, I just, yeah. all those oh places. Oh, God, it's just, it just gets me going. I love it. I just love it <laughs> those so much. Those bring back so many memories. And the other two artists, they are doing the same type of thing? Uh, it's, it's three different perspectives on the same sort of idea. So mm -hmm. one of the artists, Tim, is working from historic photographs. Tom has grown up here, so he has a relationship with more of the natural aspect of the, the state and his relationship with the natural springs and uh, working offshore and the, the different cut, how the coastline has changed. 
So it's three very interesting, three different perspectives, mm -hmm. and it's come together in a kind of a really nice cohesive package. You mentioned Witchy Wachi Springs. What are some of the other Florida landmarks that, oh, that, you, God, that I, you remember so well? There's so many, well. but oh, like... Oh, look at that. that. Yeah. Okay, Cypress Gardens. Oh, very good. <laughs> nice job. Wow, Linda. So, like, so, uh, and, and no uh, longer in existence. No longer in existence. And like, look at how cool the old photograph is, how Beautiful. saturated the color oh, is, and how weird the colorized vintage... So mm -hmm. our memory, since the thing doesn't exist anymore, the photographs that Cypress Gardens up, too end up being our memory of them and so our memory is tainted by the images that we <laughs> absorb of places right. that don't exist anymore this is an old hotel in, a motel in Gainesville uh, that was on the main highway now the highway has moved several miles away so the hotel is gone it, well it's there but it's like boarded up and oh, gone yeah. in the right, sign. right and it's like all these old hotels and motels along the strips this oh, that's the, Ringling, the Ringling, John Ringling Towers. towers. Yes. And I love the John Ringling Towers. It's from the 20s. But it there was, was here, though, until yeah. about 15 years ago. So it was here when I got here, and I spent a lot of time kind of sneaking in there and going to the Matoto, the Matoto There were room. holes in the floor because yeah. we did the same thing. Uh, and the <laughs> cypress careful. beams, and there was an old bar upstairs called the Matoto Room, which is based on Gargantua, his girlfriend, which is a, a, an attraction of a gorilla in that John Ringling owned. Oh. And I just thought it was so interesting. And these oh, are more of the set. Yeah, so, yeah, so wow. this is right Leo. next to uh, the, there was a uh, casino out there mm -hmm. for but, many, many years. But yeah. there are no trees. Yeah. <laughs> okay, use your imagination. Well, there, there was oh, a seahorse, it was a yeah. seahorse casino, and it was right on Lido, and there, Lido was very much, uh, there was a lot of pas pageants, and that's the Matoto room at John Ringling. Ah. Oh, So wow. Rudy that's Bundy, good. like his orchestra was there, and they played every day. Oh, that's oh, Weeky Watch. Yeah, the yeah. That's oh. the strangest thing in the world, so by the way. I we would like to go there. there. We were oh, just yeah. there I'm just recently, there. and it's so it's just as kitchen, just really? as beautiful yeah. as it was ever oh. was. It's oh, amazing. I did that. So, that so, it's oh, definitely I worth getting in the getting in the car and going yeah, there. Yeah, that's a road trip. Well, you can see the pictures too. Old Florida 21st Century Interpretations. It's at the Longboat Key Center for Arts through November 11th. And for more information, go to ringling.edu backslash LBK. CA. Oh, this will bring back so many memories. Next, Hollywood memories and Hollywood headlines. headlines. The Venice Area Chamber of Commerce Consumer Expo is coming to the Venice Community Center October 7th and 8th from 9 to 3. There'll be free health screenings, store prizes, and products and services from 90 area businesses. You can also enter to win $100 in five drawings each day. Enjoy great food from area restaurants and see new boats and cars in the outdoor display. Parking and admission are free. The Venice Area Chamber Consumer Expo, sponsored in part by ABC7. Mom needed more care than we could provide, so we called Granny Nannies. She now has around-the-clock caregivers, and we have peace of mind. Thanks to them, she's where she belongs, at home. A helping hand and a gentle heart. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Do you know there is money available to lower your Medicare prescription costs? Now is the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you, with no cost or obligation. We'll search a variety of plans from nationally recognized companies to find the coverage that's the best fit for you, at a price that fits your budget, and we'll do it at no charge to you. Plus, you may be able to save money on prescriptions. We'll tell you if you qualify. Why pay a penny more than you have to for an insurance policy? Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call the number on the screen now to make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Don't wait. Call now. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. At Granny Nannies, we provide your loved ones with the care they deserve, compassionate and experienced help right where you need it most, at home. Visit us at grannynannies.com. A helping hand and a gentle heart. 
Welcome back. There's plenty of entertainment news with new premieres and Oscar season abounds. So let's catch you up on some of the best Hollywood headlines from this week. So first off, Walt Disney Pictures set to return to one of their biggest hits of the past decade. Taking a look already. That's right. Pirates of the Caribbean is back. And not only are Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom set to reprise their classic roles, but an unusual newcomer is joining them. I don't think you'd guess it. Sir Paul M McCartney has what? been cast in what a mystery role. It's a mystery. What do you think? He looks like a pirate. I think he's going to be one of those um, pirates that you can't even tell who he is. Yeah. He's going to have things growing and urchins all oh, over. Oh, that's true. Things. They do yeah. do different those ones Mary, like that. Those movies are creepy to me. I think it's going to be one of those um, roles that you're not even going to be able to tell. It. tell yeah. it. You so know what? He's already got the accent. Doing. Somebody else can play, step in. Exactly. So there you go. I think it'll be cool, though. So those who love the Beatles, there you go. We might get another audience that you never had before. There you go. On the small screen, HBO may have their next big hit on their hands. If premiere ratings have anything to say about it, HBO's Westworld is their biggest premiere in nearly three years since the premiere of True Detective Westworld. Like Game of Thrones, though, went through multiple delays and setbacks. And now audiences are hoping that this will fill that Game of Thrones shaped hole that will be left in two years' time. Well, Beth, I know Wait, you're Game a fan. Wait, Game is going away? Two years. Two Why years. didn't anyone tell me this? <laughs> Can you get addicted to this one? Well, I'm going to have to. I'm going to go watch it when I get home just to see. Because <laughs> we need to find something to fill that void. I Are you a marathoner? Do you have, like, do you watch well, the I shows want, over and I, um, no, usually once it's done, I, I okay. won't watch the season again. Okay. But now that you said that I will, that way I can just fill that void. In the Fill meantime. your void. But these are really good shows, the writers, and so I'm we're hoping. looking forward to it. So we'll see. Okay. I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay. Because I'll stay up and watch oh. tonight. <laughs> well, I don't know if you're a fan of Harry Potter. I Stephanie, am. are your kids? I like, no, I like Harry really? Potter. Never got in so on it. I like him. No? Well, that's coming also out, but we want to really talk about Jeopardy because I know they're big fans of that. So this is a call to action to all who you may think can do better than a lot of these other game show contestants. So today, or rather Wednesday and Thursday, Jeopardy is opening their online quiz for you to take and potentially become their next contestant. I don't I know about you. You would be the host. <laughs> she was like, they need to have a test for that, but I think Linda would pass with flying colors. Ask the questions. I never know the answers ever. Do you think any of you could, I could never get on this show? I always know, but what good does it do? And I don't because like game you shows. Go. You can actually you go. Can, I don't, win I don't money. like to watch game shows. People win refrigerators. I don't care for strangers. Oh, yes, you yes, so won't cash. win a refrigerator. You'll win money. So if you know the answers, you should take that test. If you're good at Jeopardy, you should take that test. That's a hard one. I think Linda's going to be on the big time. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we are talking to a former New York Times journalist. You don't want to miss it. My name is Stephen Jaffe. Uh, the law firm's name is Farmer Jaffe. One of the beautiful things about Julius is he's always smiling, and it becomes infectious. The fact that Julius has a disability has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of work that he's done. Just a, a great person you want on your staff. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Designers do it with style. Tell me what's going on here. Because Why you don't like my hair? The Mark and Mandy Show. In-depth design ideas. What is up with the tuck tape here? Let's cover it up. Amazing beauty and fashion tips. So Halle Berry has amazing skin. She Her secret it. is coffee ground. No. Delicious recipes. Today I'm going to show you a special dish that is sure to please that special someone in your life. Watch the Mark and Mandy Show right here on your favorite channel. <laughs> It's time to upgrade your favorite news app. Now, ABC 7's My Suncoast News app is better than ever with a dynamic brand new design that's faster and easier to use. Stay connected anytime, anywhere with breaking news and weather alerts, video on demand, and live streaming of your Suncoast News. Download our free My Suncoast News app on your mobile device at your app store. ABC 7's all new My Suncoast News app. Just another way we're here for you. Powered by the iAssociates, providing sight for life. Thanks to my volunteer, I am a better reader. Thanks to my volunteer, math seems simple now. Thanks to my volunteer, I discovered new career goals. I'm a volunteer for Sarasota County Schools, so I know I can make a difference. And you can too. Give an hour, change a life. 
you only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPB. Types of timber, cuts of meat, cooking times, temperatures, rubs, seasoning, sauces. You name it, they know it. That's what makes them who they are, Sonny's Pitmasters, and proud of it. Come get some baby back ribs at Sonny's Barbecue. On their own or paired with favorites like jalapeno cheddar hot links, or pulled or sliced pork, plus two sides and bread. Sonny's Barbecue, local Pitmasters since 68. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check in with Chef Eddie from Apollonia Grill, who is prepping cauliflower. Eddie, teach us how to roast this. Do you do it big or do you cut it up into pieces? Well, you should cut it up in smaller pieces because it will take less time, but you can cut it in uh, larger pieces and make cauliflower steaks. Um, that's uh, one of our favorite dishes for, um, you know, vegetarian customers that would prefer that. So, but we do cut it in smaller pieces because it takes uh, less time and it's uh, caramelized very well and it's, it's delicious, really good. All right, we're looking forward to the, the cauliflower salad. We'll see you in a few minutes. Linda? The New York Times has long been referred to as the newspaper of record. It has won 117 Pulitzer Prizes more than any other organization. And that certainly attests to the talent of the journalists. We are very honored to have one of those journalists with us today. We have the former New York Times senior writer, Geraldine Fabricant. Geraldine, we are so honored to have you here today. Well, I'm delighted to be here, and thank you for asking me. You have the job I always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to be at the New York Times? How was it that you started there? Well, I had been at Variety, which is the trade paper for the entertainment business, and then at Business Week, and I got hired by the New York Times. And the first day I got there, I was so nervous that I went into the lobby where they had pay phones, and in whispering, I called my father and I said, oh, this is the New York Times, I can't possibly do this. And he said, darling, go upstairs and look around. There are 300 reporters. They're not geniuses. They just work like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do that. <laughs> all about and the perspective. I did. Yeah. Well, how, okay, how has it changed since that day? That you started? Well, you know, there weren't many women then, and now, as you all probably know, the first woman executive editor, Jill Abramson, took over. She didn't last that long, but it was a big moment for women to see that a woman had been appointed ahead of the Times. Yeah, that is big. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it was really big. The Fox issue. What in the world is going on at Fox? Well, less now than was before. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Is that culture common? Like, we're starting to hear that that may be more representative of what's really happening in the media. You know, I don't really know. It certainly wasn't the case at the Times in general. I mean, we, I haven't heard issues, even so much whispers of that, mm -hmm. because it was really frowned on. I was pretty shocked by the degree of it at mm -hmm. Fox, mm -hmm. but we did know it was a very strange culture. Well, you know, when you talk about the culture, what is it like to be in that building? Because you, you, a lot of the biggest investigative pieces come out of that paper, a lot of the biggest everything in the news, that is the point most people mm -hmm. go to. Mm -hmm. For big invest, I have to say, myself, when I met some of the reporters when I was there first, I was so starstruck I could barely speak. I was, I mean, it's like, really? It's very impressive. You kind of feel that it's a mission and you're part of it. It's a wonderful place to work. Oh, wow. Well, and we like to believe that there is some place you can go where you can trust what you read. Mm -hmm. We hear so many lies floating around, you don't know what to believe, but surely, surely at the New York Times, they are checking their facts a lot? Well, what you realize at the Times, and it's very interesting, is that if you're going to take on a big institution, a government or a corporation, you really need a big support team. You need lawyers who can lawyer everything, who can make sure before stories go in that nothing you're saying can be you can be sued for mm. and you a lot of institutions just can, simply can't afford it uh. or they don't want to do it mm -hmm. that's the problem it's great that there's all these stories broken on the web and whatever but anything really major if you don't have a law team bef you know behind you 
you can't do it. Wow. So oh. that gives you a great deal of confidence mm -hmm. uh -huh. because stories are edited and edited for weeks and months. I mean, the story the Times just did on Trump's taxes, for example, mm -hmm. the guy who wrote that story has won three, pu one of the team that wrote it has had three Pulitzer Prizes. Wow. And there were two or three lawyers, I'm sure, going over every mm -hmm. word. What kind of pressure is there as a reporter? You know, we deal with the daily deadline pressure, but at the Times it almost seems like the pressure to be at that level. What did well, you there, feel? No, not, because there are two kinds of reporting. There's daily reporting, mm -hmm. then there's feature reporting, then there's investigative reporting. So it depends where you're working and what mm -hmm. suits your temperament. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people who churn out stories every day. There are periods when I did that. Mm -hmm. That's the daily pressure. Uh -huh. Then there's taking on big institutions. That's a different kind of pressure. It really depends on your personality, what mm -hmm. suits you. But even then, when you're doing, like, the daily turn, it still seems as if the depth of the stories go deep than other organizations. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have more than one yeah. person working on them? More and more, I've noticed that there are two bylines. If you look at every paper, yeah. the journal, the Times, there are two bylines because it has to get out so fast because you are competing mm -hmm. against the web mm -hmm. that it didn't used to be that way in the... 15 years ago, you wouldn't see double bylines very often. Uh -huh. Now you see them all the time, for better or worse, and you can argue both ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's good, just good to know somebody is checking the facts. What about the gender gap? Now, you made it as a woman. Congratulations. <laughs> is it a little easier so today? <laughs> I think it is easier today. I mean, women... I, Women have the wind at their backs. Corporations are worried. You know, if there's discrimination, you can turn to lawyers. There's a history of lawsuits. Nothing illustrates that better than what's going on at Fox mm -hmm. with these mm -hmm. sexual harassment suits. I was shocked by the degree of it. But so many women have stepped up. That tells you that if another company has these issues, women can say, look what happened at Fox. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you yeah. have really a lot more, I think, power to address these issues than we had before. Did you ever face any situations when you first got there in the time? Well, I'd like to tell you 30 guys harassed me, but didn't happen. <laughs> Well, there's still time. Though, with all <laughs> the yeah, men. Still time. Anything could happen. Money. What about money? Yeah, are, are women getting an equal, um, uh, equal shake on that now? I doubt it. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's better, and I, I really thought about this. I think in industries that don't pay well, such as journalism, yeah, right. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, w women have a better shot. Where guys hold on to the money tighter is at the higher echelons of finance. You don't see so mm -hmm. many women running J.P. Morgan or Chase. I mean, they're moving up, but yeah. the big changes have been in lower paid fields in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are changes. Obviously, the corporate world, there are more women CEOs, you know, but, but still, it's it, a fight. Oh, it, I can't wait to hear you speak. This is going to be <laughs> so interesting. You are on a panel. It's the Boys and Girls Club. ABC7 is very proud to be a sponsor of Women in a Changing World. Haley Wilkes is going to be the MC of that, and Geraldine is going to be on the panel. You can get more information by going to BGC, that's Boys and Girls Club, at dash sarasota.net. And next, dot com. That's Boy, BGC, BGC sarasota.com. And it's going to be Friday night. You don't want to miss that. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. Thank you so much. And next, it's Suncoast for Sale. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet happy again. They've gotten their life back. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC 7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Haley Wilgus. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. Hurricane Matthew is driving evacuees to the Sun Coast, why hotels and rental homes are filling up by the second. Plus, some Sun Coast residents are preparing now for any possible impact from the storm. How Manatee County is helping local people in the area protect their homes. Now let's head over with the latest. Bob. Well, it's looking more impressive on the satellite imagery as it pulls away from Cuba and Haiti right now. And the 
Uh, Central Bahama is getting hammered by a Category 3 hurricane, and it looks like it's getting stronger at this point. One thing to note that the tropical storm force winds now may be entering into our county. We'll zero in on some of that heavy activity. You can see some of the islands now uh, moving off toward the northwest. That system is here's a look at the probability of tropical storm force winds uh, through time on Friday. And now Sarasota has a 40 to 50 percent chance, and so does Manatee. More at 5. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere. Everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301, sarasotaford.com. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I call Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. And welcome back. One of the best parts about living on the Sun Coast is access to really, really, really nice homes. So we're excited about today's Sun Coast for Sale because it's all about seeing some of the most prestigious properties in our area. And Realtor Andrew Haddad brings us some of those million-dollar properties in the Suncoast Dream Home Edition. That's right, and we're uh, we're going to dive into the luxury market, and oh, this good. is really the luxury luxury. Um, luxury in our market is luxury actually of the luxury. Luxury, luxury of the luxury. Yeah. So <laughs> it's actually defined as the top ten percent okay. of our market, which, believe it or not, that price is five hundred and eighty thousand. Oh wow! Is the top ten percent. Really? So for today's purposes, though, we're going to be five hundred eighty up. Five hundred eighty up is defined so luxury as luxury. Of the luxury oh market. wow! Yeah. All right, well let's right. get into it. Let's let's do it. So first, we are in Terracia. So this is. Linda, price this looks like your house. Right, goes, right. But that's not my house. Just under a million dollars. So you got your classic Key West style home. Beautiful right there on the island. Um, this is on three quarters of an acre wow. waterfront. So fantastic. You can bring your boat. It also has a boat lift as well. Um, beautiful grounds though over there as well. So almost an acre of, of home site and it has a six car garage underneath and beautiful mm. on the inside. That's not my house. <laughs> that's not your house. <laughs> and so anyway, this is, uh, you know, granite counters, you know, top of line appliances and um, so and bright. Cabinet soap. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. bright, nice Whoa, and homey, great that. style. And again, you're paying for the water and the location. Beautiful views. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look, at, so, the look at, I could that. look at that all day. Yep. I could too. <laughs> absolutely. We're going to go south to Sarasota. So, this is a really cool community. That's this is nice just also. east of I 75. Um, and this is on 10 acres. This is a Whoa. private oh. estate uh, and an equestrian community. So, just east of I 75 in Ooh, Sarasota. Wow. Beautiful. So, actually, 7.5 of those acres are usable land. Mm. Only 2.5 is um, is wetlands. So you walk in, you have your beautiful grand oh, staircase, beautiful. foyer, everything in here has been done up to the top of the line. Gorgeous. So, you know, incredible top of the line appliances, the countertops, the kitchen, the gourmet, everything right there. We also have a mother-in-law suite and the master suites are all on the first level. Wow. Oh, so, look at that. And oh. again, you know, it's the lifestyle and entertaining. Look so open up the doors and beautiful custom Ooh. pool. This See, is, how do you yeah. leave your house exactly you live like <laughs> right? I'm never gonna leave. Uh -huh. <laughs> Might have to go to work to keep the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be the problem. So Andrew when you talk about you know luxury and these kind of uh, homes you think they may take a while to sell. Sure. You know how long does it stay sure. on the market? Well but that, that's a great question. Um, a lot of them do take a long time to sell. I mm -hmm. pulled the data this morning though and the median Days on the market for mm -hmm. anything a million plus, believe it or not, is only 97 days. Three months. Oh, for that the million really dollar plus. Wow. And that was pulled just in the past six months. Mm -hmm. And that's compared to on average, our average market, believe it or not, it's taking 41 days. 
for a home oh. to sell. Oh, so okay. Double what the double average. Double what? Yeah. Because there's obviously a smaller I get it. pool smaller of buyers. Pool, mm -hmm. yeah, more of that discerning buyer. So. Oh, that's more cool. beautiful like, properties to look at right here. Love this one, Antigua Cove at 1.1 million. Um, this again is the Florida Resort lifestyle living to the fullest. Um, you're going to look at grand staircase, of course, nice. going into the yeah, home. Cool. Incredible uh, Brazilian wood floors when we walk inside. Um, mm. We have a six plus car garage as well. Oh. Two massive balconies. I only have one car. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> You're going to have so to add your collection. <laughs> absolutely. So this one is ready move in condition. As you can see, it's vacant. Um, mm. Gourmet kitchen. And wow. of course, we are right there on the water with wow. our custom, you know, our pool and our spa. This is actually a John Cannon custom built mm. home. So they always do a great job. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely. The next, we are going to Bradenton. This is in Riv Rivendale. This is $1.15 million, five bedroom, three and a half bath, um, almost 4,300 square feet. Beautiful entry when I you love enter that stairway. the home. This actually is being sold for fully furnished as well. Oh, really? Fully furnished. Yeah. So, well, that's an incentive. You, you know, don't do don't have to buy any extra furniture because I already go. spent all my money on the house. <laughs> that's right. So, as you can see on the inside, I mean, GE monogram appliances. I mean, everything's done up to the nine. Beautiful pool, spa. And again, you are on the water as well. So, all these properties we've been seeing are, you know, bring your own boat, you know, mm -hmm. have that access. Which Can is I get huge. a boat included? <laughs> you said furnishing. Few people Let's leave talk. their boats. Maybe the location. Furniture. There you All go. right, so the dream home the dream, of the dream home. The dream home. of the dream. This is in Nokomis, Florida, which I love it. So you're right there on the intercoastal, and of course, that's the Gulf of Mexico behind you. Beautiful home. It's your own little tropical resort paradise. Um, direct access on the intercoastal, as you saw. Um, nice uh, modern, modern and contemporary type design. Yeah. Uh, gourmet kitchen, as you can see there. And uh, just beautiful, the plantain shutters, oh, the outdoor so living nice. area. Mm -hmm. And again, you're right there on the water, so we're selling beautiful. lifestyle. Looks like you got three long. boats there. And I think that's Bring the em. thing that people want to remember about this. It's not just a dream, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, mm -hmm. that's right. All so, right, well, thank you so much, Andrew. If you want to get more information about these properties or any properties that are more in my price range, <laughs> <laughs> you want to contact Andrew at searchsarasotahomes.com. And next, we're going to have information or inform you about an update on our South guide dog and how things are going. We'll be right back. Hurricane season is here and Suncoast weather can go from this to this in seconds. So when severe weather threatens, count on the official Suncoast storm team at ABC7. We're armed with the most advanced weather technology so that we can bring you storm warnings faster and with more detail than ever before. Plus, we focus on the Suncoast and track storms right down to your neighborhood. On air, online, and on your mobile device, turn to the official Suncoast storm team at ABC7. We're here for you. At ABC7, it's all about being here for you. ABC7 News at 7 with award-winning investigative journalist Alan Cohn. In-depth reporting and debate on important issues and stories in our community with a featured topic of the day and a live roundtable discussion with community leaders and newsmakers. Plus a quick recap of the day's top stories and weather. ABC7 News at 7 weeknights. Now more than ever, we are here for you, Suncoast. My name is Haley. I have fragile X syndrome. I work with Chartwells at Einstein's at FAU. I like being up front and um, interacting with students. The students are very nice and very hungry. Having a job is a big ticket for independence. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Game on, Suncoast. Get scores and highlights from the area's top high school matchups on Football Friday Night, just after the news at 11.15. Sponsored by Gulf Coast Honda. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. Services.com. Services.com. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today at our new kitchen and bath cabinetry locations. 
Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Welcome back. A couple of fun events to talk about this weekend. We've been talking, of course, about our Southeastern Guide Dog Puppy. Well, you've probably noticed throughout downtown Sarasota the statues of all of the guide dogs. This is a big promotion being called Superheroes on Parade. Well, all 52 superheroes will be lined up on Palm Avenue on Saturday and Sunday. So you can see them all in one place. More than 93,000 votes were cast online for these custom decorated statues. So it'll be really neat to see them all lined up together and you can see the awards that were given out and everything there. So there's a big event on Palm Avenue Saturday and Sunday. So yesterday, Wrigley and I were downtown and he posed in front of the superhero <laughs> statue that is right there at Madison's is our little future, future, super future yeah. superhero. And actually, Wrigley and I are going to go visit all these statues on Sunday. So if you want to meet Wrigley in person, come on and join us on Palm Avenue Sunday afternoon. We'll be there around lunchtime. The voting is closed. The awards have been given. So now you can go visit them all and see who won what. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see them all together. Yeah. All right, coming up next, Apollonia Grill is in the kitchen. Chef Eddie getting some cauliflower ready for roast cauliflower salad. We're going to learn. Stay with us. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Good afternoon. The latest in from the National Hurricane Center now. A tropical storm watch has been placed in effect for coastal communities in Sarasota, Manatee, and Charlotte counties. And what that means is the possibility is there to get tropical storm force winds. We showed you the graphic earlier of the percentage of getting tropical storm force winds, especially on Friday, has moved up now to 40 to 50 percent for Sarasota and Manatee counties. A hurricane warning obviously in effect for the entire, most of the entire east coast. Now that tropical storm watch is uh, including Venice, uh, Inglewood, Osprey, Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch are near there, and Braden and Palmetto, and all the barrier islands are under that tropical storm watch, and all of DeSoto County under that watch as well. Again, the warning for Highlands County continues until Saturday, and a tropical storm watch for us. Now, that storm is gaining some strength right now. The latest on it, top winds are at 120 miles an hour and is getting better organized. More on Matthew coming up in just a few minutes. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom-built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The Moore Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the Moore Space Place. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. 
track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. The official salon of ABC7. Coming up Thursday at 4 on Suncoast View, small Suncoast companies are getting some big national recognition. Our economic buzz expert is here to spotlight some great local business success stories. It's Fire Safety Prevention Month. We're going to learn not just to check, but when to change our smoke detectors. Plus, we'll preview Piano Grande, the artist series concert featuring five pianos and 50 fingers. Plus, Gold Rush Barbecue joins us in the kitchen. And welcome back. We're in the kitchen now with Chef Eddie from Apollonia Grill, and we're making a cauliflower salad. That's right. So All it's right. a roasted cauliflower salad. It's uh, definitely in season right now. Now is the time to get it. It's uh, it's uh, really healthy and it's fresh and it's uh, it's fantastic. Local Mediterranean local. food. Very local. Yes. All right, well, let's get started, Chef. How do well, we do it? Well, uh, we can start this two ways. We can do it in cauliflower steaks. This is how we roast this at the restaurant for like steaks. a vegetarian mm -hmm. dish. So you would mm -hmm. take like the center cut just like that. You see how pretty that is? That you know? is. So, like a tree. Right. I don't so feel you like can, I can do that. Though. Right, you can put it on a, uh, on a uh, pan sheet like that and then just roast it in the oven with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. But we're going to break it down because we want this to take a little bit less time. Okay. And I'm going to break it down in little uh, florets just like that. That's so now, easy. How long right. is it going to take? It takes about 30 minutes or until it gets like golden brown and uh, tender enough, you know, where you can feel with your hand. What do you like okay. to put it at, 400? Uh, about 400 okay. degrees, 400 yes. 400 at 30 minutes. Well, mm -hmm. Chef Eddie, do you want to cut a couple more and then have them break it down and then we can move on? Yeah, that would be good. Um, we could start the dressing together for uh, for the salad. All right, so, so why the ladies can help break it me, down? Uh, break that down a little bit, it would be okay. great. Okay. We'll start with the dressing over here. Okay. So we are already made an, um, one, so you're going to get me a fresh start. You said I should pour this in here, which is? Yes, le that's lemon juice. Okay. So the cauliflower is very subtle taste, so we don't want to overpower with any heavy dressing. So we got a simple lemon vinaigrette, which we got some extra virgin olive oil. You can pour all, all of it thing? in there. Mm -hmm. Some uh, uh, lemon juice, which you already poured. And then you're going to season it with salt, pepper, it's oregano, and garlic. a little bit. Garlic. Is that good? Just a little bit. Yes, that's perfect. Same thing with this one? Mm -hmm. I, that one that's a, a lot of garlic. Okay. I didn't mean yeah, to. That's a little bit too I much love garlic. garlic. But, yeah. <laughs> I had a so, the rest of the night. <laughs> and the reason why we're putting it into that uh, vase is so that way we can close it and then shake it really well and then pour it on top of the dressing. Do so, I put the lemon first? Or no, I think we did you enough did lemon, that. so no. that's enough. He's just like close it and then just really give it that old shakey shake and um, we'll be good to go. Steph, mm. why did you back up? Because So I think you guys are very you. good there. So that's really about the sizes that you want. So that's perfect. Thank you for your help. So then we're just going to drizzle some olive oil, and then we're going to season that with salt okay. and pepper. So just you be, do the drizzle, and we'll add the stuff. It's just be so It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just kind of eye, just like that. Oh, just like an artist. Mm -hmm. And then we got a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't want to put too much salt because we are using feta on our recipe, and feta is salty. So oh, just pinch. a little bit. All right. Pinch. So after you do that, how long does it go into the oven? It goes for about 30 to 35 minutes, or until golden brown and tender. And in the magic of TV, we do have we one. That's all we out. need That's to do. Right. Yeah. Okay, can I borrow the napkin? Cool? So it's what about all this stuff? Make. It's simple. That's yes. the other part. Of it takes longer to cut the cauliflower probably than anything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he right. cut it really easy. I can't imagine. Being able to break it apart, I didn't realize it was that easy. Uh -huh. I thought you had to cut each little piece. It's magic. 40 All right, let's 10, assemble 40 40 it in a minute here. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to pour some of this on the bowl. Okay. And then we're going to add a couple of baby lettuce or spring mix or even arugula if you like. Mm -hmm. So okay. we're going to add it to that. And then we have some roasted peppers. I'm going to chop this. You girls can add some walnuts, some olives, and a little bit that. of the feta and onions to that. Go for okay. it, Linda. Okay. How much is a little bit? Well, we like, I like uh, a lot of feta. I'd say about a tablespoon or two. Perfect. Just kind of eye it, as much as you like to put. Let's do these. So I got the roasted pepper. He got that the roasted pepper. Oh, okay. A little olives? How many olives? 
four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, like. seven, eight. And then we're going to put some uh, grilled chicken. This is perfect with oh. seafood or chicken. So mm. we'll pour it right on or top. Or if you're vegetarian, you don't that's, have to even add that that's in. Right. So that's right. That's perfect. Top this, a little walnut. Oh, oh that, that looks options. so good. All right, this is the roasted cauliflower salad. You can find that at Apollonia Mediterranean Grill over by University Town Center. Oh, and yeah. Chef Eddie, always with some very fresh, innovative, and healthy, healthy. in this case, cooking. So we appreciate that. Rebecca, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good job with salad, uh, putting it together, and thanks. we are ready to dig in. So oh, yes. it that does look so good. good. That sounds do. so good. Everybody, enjoy the rest of the day. Be sure to take some time and enjoy the Sun Coast view. Mm. Bye.